Today, the Netherlands stood still to remember the countless victims of World War II. The Netherlands was invaded by Nazi Germany on May 10, 1940. They weren't able to hold the Nazis off and fully surrendered on May 17th. The Dutch royal family fled the country and remained in hiding until the end of the war. During the war, Queen Wilhelmina would broadcast messages of hope to her countrymen from out of England, where her family's safety and well-being was secure. While the Dutch royals were in hiding, the Reuben Segundo Boy Akuri and his best friend from Curaçao, Luis Delano, joined the Dutch resistance. Once in the Netherlands, they firebombed German trucks, derailed trains, and helped people go into hiding. For white Europeans, these names have been long forgotten. On the World War II monument in Amsterdam, the 12 Dutch provinces are recognized, but there is no mention of the crucial role that the African diaspora had in obtaining victory over the Nazis. This group of Afro-Dutch have come together to pay their respects to the countless African souls that helped build Western society and enlisted in Western militaries to help defeat the Nazis. The Dutch were heavily involved in the slave trade. They had slave colonies in Suriname, the former Dutch Antilles, and Aruba. The Maroons in Suriname were African refugees who escaped from Dutch slavery. Under the leadership of Boney, a group of several small maroon tribes revolted against their Dutch oppressors. In Suriname, Boney is a hero. In the Netherlands, he is an afterthought. In 1795, on the island of Curaçao, a slave named Tula also led a revolt against Dutch slave drivers. This history is not taught in Dutch schools. There is a national monument recognizing slavery, but there is no national holiday. After abolishing slavery in 1863, the Dutch remained in power by keeping these countries as colonies. When Adolf Hitler began his invasion of the Netherlands, the Dutch turned to their colonies. Suriname has an abundance of bauxite which is used to make aluminum. 80% of the equipment used by the Allies during World War II was made with bauxite from Suriname. The crude oil refineries of the former Dutch Antilles and Aruba produced 60% of the fuel used by the Allies. The Nazis sent submarines to attack these boats that were transporting these goods. With an enemy invasion glooming, a mandatory draft was incorporated. Next to the draft, droves of black men and women enlisted freely. Due to racism and segregation, Blacks weren't recognized after the war. They were excluded from victory parades. Some are still waiting to receive medals they earned during the war. What exactly has changed during the past 70 years? This year, these black heroes were recognized. A group of Afro-Dutch took advantage of this opportunity to remember their African ancestors. During a national ceremony, these blacks held their own ceremony. It wasn't easy because anyone who deviates from the program is met with opposition. These two men standing behind the group are undercover police officers. Both had visible earpieces. The group was unfazed.
After the two minutes of silence, the Dutch national anthem was played. Kevin Roberson in Amsterdam for the Roberson Report. Het is ons verteld. Zoals de zeezoekel zeiden, goed of kwaad, hoe je het hebt bekijkt. Wij weten wat jij hebt gedaan. Maar wat al? Wat hebben we ook zo gedaan? Zoveel vragen voor je. Maar het kan niet meer. Ik kan ze niet meer stellen. Het heeft nooit gekund. Maar wat als? Wat als het had gekund? Had ik dat dan gedaan? Had ik dat dan gedaan? Ik kan ze niet meer stellen. Maar wel alles. Wat alles had gekund. Wat ik dan nog gedaan? Wat was dat gebeurd? Wat was mijn vraag? Ik een cameraman aan in onze sector. Zou ik dan teleurgesteld zijn? Kijk even mee. Of niet? Ik wil nog een keer zien. Ik wil nog een keer zien. Oké, wat is er naam? Ik krijg mijn nummer, ik weet het niet. Recht op, ik weet even de sector niet.